Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. The book also includes a section on Google Sites. And today I'm going to be talking about a problem that a lot of creators of Google Sites have uh, when they've created a site. And this is a test site that I created. You can check out my other videos to see how I made it. But there's a problem with it. So this is the site, what it looks like on a browser, another browser, another Google account. And let's say that I'm showing it to uh, my collaborators to say to ask them, okay, uh, what do you think? Here's the middle school website. Um, does it look okay to you? Is everything working okay? And if you go to the site, it looks like at first glance, it looks like everything's all right. So if you go to this page, this is the uh, home page for parents. There's a map. There's some text here. If you go to the videos page, um, there's a video here, first day of school. But then if you go to the home page for students, check this out. So I created a very simple page that just says, uh, here's next week's assignment for students in the computer science lab. And, but if you scroll down, this, it's a Google Docs, it says you need permission. And it's because the, I'm using a different Google account than the, than the account that I used to create it. So it's actually not showing this, it's not showing this. And if I distributed this, this uh, Google site to parents by, let's say, copying this link and sending it out, everybody would have the same problem it would say, they, they come to this page and would say, you need permission. And you can imagine, if you have, let's say, uh, hundreds of students and parents coming to take a look at this assignment or to print it out or to do whatever, and they can't get at it, you're going to have a huge problem on your hands because everyone's going to be emailing or calling you to say, hey, what's up? My kid can't get into the assignment. So this is what you need to do. Go to your account that you created it. So I've been, uh, cr this is a separate browser. Uh, by the way, you can use any browser to do this um, as if you're logged in as an editor or owner of the Google site. And also it doesn't matter if it's a Mac or a PC, it'll look the same. And uh, basically you find the page which has the document in question. So here's what it looks like to the owner. Homepage for students, uh, here's next week's assignment. I can change the text here and here's the document. It's actually a Google Doc. And it's a it's a uh, it's actually a school that I wrote a paper that I wrote in graduate school, and so one thing you can do is you can get rid of it, delete it by kind of hovering over it and then selecting the delete icon and then finding another document that has the right permissions. Um, but that might take a lot of time, or maybe you don't have anything that has the right permissions. And actually, what you should be doing is not deleting stuff and replacing it. You should actually be adjusting the permissions for the Google Doc or the sheet, or the slide, or the whatever it is, and change the permission so other people can see it. And because it's a public-facing website, the permission should be changed so everybody can see it. So right now, um, here is the Google site. It's a Google Docs page. One thing that Google Sites doesn't show when you once you've inserted something, it doesn't show what the title of it is. Uh, so I may, but what you can do is. I can take a look at some of the information in here, like Eric Klopfer or Computer Games or the, the CMS.863J, and then I can search for it in Google Drive. Because basically when I created the Google Sites, I took that document from my Google Drive account. It's a connected, they're all connected to each other. So when you're creating Google Sites, you can actually insert stuff from your uh, Docs, Slide, Sheets, or Google Drive. So basically you have to find that document. The problem with my Google Drive account, as you might be able to guess, I have thousands of files and folders in here, so I need to use the search function. So remember that that particular file, that doc, was about computer games? Let's see what happens when I search for computer games. Here it is, CMS WoW Curriculum Reaction. So it's loading it up. Here it is. Here's that particular page. It's the same one, but this is viewing it in Google Docs. To change the permissions, go to the share icon. You can see it. If I hover over it, it says private to only me. Click that. Share with others. Now, this is the part that trips up a lot of people. You can start, to, if you want to, you can start to add people's names. Like, I can add um, Nicole at i30media.com or Nicole Kong at yahoo.com. But the problem is, if I just add people by their email address, that's not public. What that means is, when that person goes to this page, she'll be able to take a look at this because she'll be logged in to her Google uh, Drive account and it will show up because she has permission. But I want everybody to be able to see it, any member of the public. So to do that, go back to your Google Docs and open, uh, click Share. This little pop-up will appear. 
and click advanced. See that lower right corner of that little pop-up? Okay. There's a bunch of options here. It may look a little confusing. I'm going to blow it up so it's a little easier to see. Actually, let's reduce that. Look under where it says who has access. It says private, only you can access. Click the change link next to it. So now it's off specific people. That is, I can invite specific people by email. There's two other options here too. And sometimes actually you'll see more options uh, depending on how your Google account is set up. But the ones that we're interested in are on public on the web. Anyone on the internet can find and access, no sign in required. On anyone with the link. Anyone who has the link can access, no sign in required. If you select the top one, that means anyone who searches for computer games might be able to find that page. And actually, for a website that's really aimed at a specific population, I don't think you want to make it so easily findable, the document easily findable by anybody using Google search. Um, because you might get people that are maybe at another, another uh, school or another community or people trying to cause trouble or whatever, and you just don't want to give them free access. You don't want to make it easy for people to find it if they're not connected with the school. Instead, select on anyone with a link, anyone who has a link can access, and then hit save. So anyone, now it says anyone who has the link can view. So people, members of the public will be able to view it if they come to the Google, uh, to, the, uh, to the Johnson Middle School website. They won't be able to edit it. All they can do is view it. Okay. Um, you don't have to send it to anybody. Just click done, the done button. All right. Now, let's go back to our test site. So let's just hit publish just to make sure everything is changed. And now let's take a look and see what it looks like on this particular page, on this and another browser. So I'm going to copy the link here. This is from the uh, Google Sites owner view. Copy the link. Switch to another browser. I'm switching to Safari. Paste that link in. Okay. So here's the same page, home page for students. Let's scroll down. Before it says you don't have permission, but check it out now. Here it is that document is now embedded on the page and anyone can see it because this is a different this is a different browser, different account. I'm logged into somebody else, but I can still see it. And actually any member of the public who has this link will be able to see it. So, um, you know, your parents or your students, when they come here, they'll be able to see it. And uh, it basically makes it visible. So for more information on how to get the most out of Google Sites, you can check out the many videos I've created about Google Sites on my channel, or you can go to in30minutes.com. You can check out the book that I've written, which contains an introduction to Google Sites, but you can also, uh, if you scroll to the bottom of the page, there's a YouTube link, and you can check out the many videos that I've created about Google Sites. Thank you so much for watching.